As we mark our independence this July 4th, one ceremony took time to recognize a different type of freedom. Fort Monroe played a key part in the Underground Railroad, a network that led to freedom for slaves who escaped their southern owners. Tenninger Side's Chris Horn was there and met a woman who can trace her slave roots right here to Hampton Roads. Chris. Yeah, Tom, and wait till you hear who one of her descendants was. We talked with her about race relations then and now. Elise Harding Davis is a citizen of Canada, and that's an important part of her family tree. President James Monroe signed a treaty with England that would pave a pathway to freedom for slaves, and the fort that bears his name was a pivotal part of that journey. Fort Monroe had some of the sights and the sounds of a typical July 4th celebration, but listen a little more closely. Canada, straight to Canada, where we can all be free. This ceremony marked a different kind of freedom from slavery and the role of Fort Monroe in the Underground Railroad. Harriet Tubman was among those who smuggled more than 10,000 escaped slaves through here in the mid-1860s. Instead of just saying, let's go up north and we'll be safe, mm -hmm. they now knew they could go to another country's domain. Canada ended slavery before the United States in 1833. Historian and Canadian citizen Elise Harding Davis has traced her own family tree to Fort Monroe and Eastern Virginia. She found that some of her forefathers are both iconic and ironic in Southern history. I am a descendant of the Lee family. Mm -hmm. uh, Light Horse Harry Lee had a daughter by a slave woman whose name we do not know, mm -hmm. but then that makes her the sister, half-sister of Robert E. Lee. Harding Davis's ancestors made their way from Fort Monroe into Ontario. It's a history that should be better appreciated. So as we celebrate our independence, Harding Davis says we still have miles to go to arrive at a true understanding of our nation's diverse history. I'm hoping very much that race relations can be improved, that black people can be dignified for the contributors that they have been. And aid me on to Canada, where we can all be free. Tomorrow, Harding Davis will visit for the first time Stratford Hall, the birthplace of her ancestor, Robert E. Lee, in the Northern Neck. She says she's not sure how she feels about it or what to expect. Meanwhile, Fort Monroe will have fireworks tonight at 9.15, and we have details on wavy.com. In the newsroom, Chris Horn, 10 on your side.